up bright and early for pancakes and pile drivers. Someone lost some tickets. No. Mm -hmm. They got handed in your hand. Of course, I'm the one to blame for it, but uh, I don't think I ever had the tickets. However, we got it taken care of. Luckily, the nice hotel lady, nice hotel lady was able to print them off for us. So we're still going to be able to go to G1 Supercard because that's the tickets we lost was the G1 Super Ticket cards. Erica. Nathan. What the fuck is that in the road? New Jersey? New York, I hate you. Anyways, on our way. It says we're only going to take about 30 minutes to get there, but said that yesterday and it took us almost two, so. Here we go. brothers right here, man. Dez, Trey, Zach, Joe, Kobe, Sammy, Dave, Jake, Frick, Kingston, the king himself. All y'all my brothers, and I couldn't have made it this far without any one of y'all, seriously. And from the bottom of my heart, I love every single one of y'all. But even more real and personal note, it's been 10 years. It took me 10 years to get to this point right here. Right here. The, the first ever WrestleCon weekend that I ever did was in 2013, back in New York, New Jersey. So it's funny how I had my last WrestleCon here in New York, New Jersey as well. I just thought about that also. And from that point on, I only had like one show, then I got put on to a Dragon Gate show, and I did fucking awful. I did awful, I never thought I'd be put back in the ring, I never thought Sammy or DJ Hyde or Gabe Sapolsky would ever want to use me again, because I was like so down on myself. And like, it wasn't until 2014 when I went on my first overseas tour with the UK. I wrestled Will Ospreay when he was 20 years old, I met Mark Andrews. Met Jimmy Havoc, he got in the ring with Pete Dunn, now he's fucking killing it in the Barclays Center. Met all them guys, and that's where it just clicked for me. That's where everything clicked. It just went off. That's where confidence starts setting in for Swerve. And that's where Swerve, Swerve started getting a definition of who he was and what he's all about. What I wanted to preach and teach to each and every person that ever came out, bought a ticket to watch me perform. I wanted to show you guys Confidence. What is this place called? I don't know anything about it, but apparently it's a place to go when you're in New York. So my wife went there. Madison Square fucking garden. Well.
fuck yes. <laughs> G1 supercar is over. We uh, got back to our car after getting a big old pizza to take back to the hotel. Um, one takeaway is Matt, Matt Taven. fucking Taven is it's finally fucking champ. the champion. So, yeah. Fuck New York. Worst town ever. However, best experience ever because we were there for Matt Taven finally winning the fucking title. And, uh, yeah. That's all I got for now. Fucking hungers. No matter how bad you perform, not even just in the spring, but in your everyday work, your everyday job, you have kids at home, you have a wife that you're barely making ends meet and supporting, you still go out there and you come home and you come in with a smile on your face and you believe in confidence because that's what gets you to the end of the day, makes you wake up and do it all over again. Seventeen years old, graduated high school, went to the military, had my first daughter. Nineteen years old, had my second daughter, had no job, still kept wrestling, making no money, telling everybody telling me that this is the wrong decision to make. I should be focusing on my family more. I should be prioritizing things a little bit better. But I wasn't in my heart. This was in my heart. All you people right here, y'all are in my heart. All of you. Y'all kept me going for 10 years. And look where we are now. I have a fucking show named in front of thousands of people. I travel the world and I make friends all over the world. I have mentors that I can call up as friends and come over to each other's houses and share moments, share, share memories. Laugh, joke, that is swerve, that is confidence. And if there's anything that I can leave you off with, just have confidence in yourself and everything you do in your everyday life. Because swerve is confidence, and there's swerve in each and every one of you. Thank you all, I love you, good night.